What's up YouTube? This is Lizard's H1 here, and today I'm going to show you how to downgrade to iOS 4.1 from 4.3.5 or 4.3.4 or from any iOS uh, 4.x for that matter to iOS 4.1 without SHSH blobs. <laughs> So this will work definitely with the iPad Touch 2G as well as the iPhone 3GS, but it will most likely still work with the iPhone 3G and plenty of other devices. So feel free to try this out because this will not break your device at all. So the first thing you will need for this is of course um, your iPad Touch or iPhone or if you're trying this with an iPad or whatever, your Mac or Windows computer your USB to third pin dock connector cable, as well as the newest version of iTunes and an iOS 4.1 IPSW for your device. So the first thing I want you guys to do is plug in your device, and what you're going to do is if iTunes doesn't automatically sync it back, your, back up your device, you're going to right click on your device, choose backup, and iTunes will back it up. While that's doing that, we're going to go ahead and download our 4.1 IPSW. Now, we could use a few things. The first uh, I'm, thing that I'm going to use is, of course, this link here, which has all the iOS 4.1 IPSWs here for all the devices, see so your iPhone 3GS. Or what I usually like to do is download it from IPSW, IPSW Downloader, which also has the same things, but at a much faster download rate. So now that that is done backing up and our IPSW has finished downloading, what we can do is put our device into DFU mode. So in order to do that, all we have to do is plug, plug in our device if you haven't already done so already, but I don't know why you wouldn't have because you backed it up, and simply slide to power it off. Once it's done powering off, you could hold the sleep button for 3 seconds, 1, 2, 3, then hold the home and sleep button for 10 seconds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, then let go of the sleep button, but continue to hold the home button for about 15 seconds or to about 30 seconds, and iTunes is going to give us a message, and there we go. Now we're in DFU mode, so what we can do is option click the restore button if you're on a Mac, or shift click the restore button if you're using Windows, but I'm on a Mac, so I'm just going to go ahead and press and hold option, then click the restore button, and then this box is going to come up, and it's going to ask us to browse for that IPSW. So here I've got iOS 4.1 IPSW for the iPod Touch 2G, and all you got to do is hit open, and it will start uh, extracting that firmware and restoring it. Now the reason why this works for 4.4.1 and 4.1 only is because for some reason Apple's still signing 4.1, and I just found that out today, so I thought you guys should know about this just in case. And then once you're on 4.1, I recommend going to go ahead and save your SHSH blobs with Tiny Umbrella iFaith or ISHSH it from Cydia, or do whatever to save your blobs. Just make sure they're saved. Now, if this doesn't work correctly, there's also something you could do to modify your host file to sort of bypass Apple signing thing. So I've made two videos on how to downgrade your device, one for Mac and one for Windows. You could check those out right here. And if you get more errors, I've also made videos on how to fix those errors, one for Mac, one for Windows right here. And those links will be in the video description as well as you could just click on these annotations right here, as well as also at the end of the video with those end of the video credits thing that I do. So anyway, guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to favorite, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.